Hi Colorado, this is Cleet Crocker. I'm here once again at Appliance Factory Mattress Kingdom. Today I'm going to explain to you what is the Energy Star all about. Okay, so Energy Star. Energy Star is a tag that looks like this. You're going to see it in advertisements. If you go to the uh, manufacturer's websites, you're going to see a little blue icon there that says Energy Star. And uh, sometimes there's going to be uh, advertisements around Energy Star appliances. So what does that mean? And why are we talking to you about this now? Well, one of the big events that's about to happen in the appliance industry is Earth Day. And that really impacts the appliance industry because you're going to see from us, from our competitors, all kinds of advertising around Energy Star appliances. And that would be appliances that are good for the environment. Now, how is this good for us? Well, Energy Star is just like you would think. It's all about saving energy with the appliances that you use. Now, I'm gonna tag here. I'm gonna kind of show you how to look at this tag and how to read it. And then I'll explain to you what kind of appliances you can get this on. So it's about energy consumption. Now, the energy we're talking about is either electricity or water. It's usually one of those two things. So if you think about the kind of appliances we're talking about, it's going to be refrigerators uh, because of all the energy they use. You know, that compressor is always running now, so how much power it consumes is pretty important. If you think about water, we're looking at dishwashers. It's hard to find a dishwasher that is not Energy Star. And we're talking about washing machines. Again, it's hard to find the washing machine that today is not rated as an Energy Star appliance. Now, Energy Star means that it meets certain top level, level energy consuming regulations from the government. So if you see something that has an Energy Star tag on it like this, that would tell you that this is not gonna use a lot of energy. So what does that mean in terms of your pocketbook? Well, to be honest with you, not a lot. Here's an example. This is a really good Energy Star refrigerator. I plucked this out of, and you'll see that in any appliance it's Energy Star, they're required to have one of these tags on there so you can see what benefit it is. But right here, it shows you on this tag the kind of level that this style of refrigerator uses in terms of an annual consumption of power and the dollars that it would take up. So the range that this refrigerator here uh, would talk about is as low as $78 and as high as $107. So that's how much per year it would use in electricity cost based on the rates of when this thing came out. And this is the kilowatts per hour that it would be estimating to use. On the scale of high to low, this particular refrigerator comes all the way there on the bottom. So if this was this way more, it'd be a higher dollar amount. And that would let you know that it's Energy Star, but it uses more electricity than others that are Energy Star a lot less than those that are not Energy Star. But this particular one, since it's all the way on the left-hand side of the scale there, that lets you know that it is one of the better uh, savings on energy. So this is a pretty good one. This is one that you'd like to get. But you ask yourself, $78 versus $107, that doesn't mean a lot. And then if you think about the kilowatts per hour that it's using for what you would have used if it wasn't an Energy Star, again, that's not a lot when you think about one person in the kitchen, but you don't want to think about that way. We're talking about Earth. What's good for Earth? What's good for our nation? So what we're talking about is, think about this. You've got a refrigerator, you've got a dishwasher, you've got a washer, and if all of those things save money for you, that's great. But what if everybody on your street had these things as well? And add that up to how many pieces, how many units are on your street? Or what about if it's your town, or it's the city, or it's the state? Or how much savings is that in energy consumption if we're talking about the entire U.S.? That's a big deal. And so when we all work together and we buy things that are Energy Star, we're really doing a great service in terms of energy conservation in our own country. And that's where these things matter. And that's why we pull together as an industry to have Earth Day and to recognize things and to promote things that actually are good for us. So this is something I'd recommend to you. Now, if you go into a refrigerator, you'll see usually one of these taped to the inside or into one of the drawers. I've got a dishwasher here. You'll see there's one uh, in here. There we go again. Here's another tag. This unit costs you about $35 a year to run. And this time we were talking about the uh, combination of electricity and water. Um, and then again, you, you see, again, all of the kilowatts per hour. Um, but what we're really looking for to see if this is a good, efficient model is this symbol right here, this Energy Star symbol. 
You can also go to energystar.gov and pull up a list of every single appliance that qualifies as an Energy Star appliance. So it's a good thing to check out. Now, what about other things? What about ranges? Well, ranges has a cooking source in there, and so you generally wouldn't find, and think, I don't even think I've ever seen one, for something that cooks, like a cooktop, or an oven, or a range. You wouldn't expect to find that. Um, you wouldn't expect to find it in home heaters, but you would expect to find it in home air conditioners uh, because of the amount of power that they're, they're using and they can conserve. So there's lots of Energy Star air conditioners, lots of refrigerators, lots of washers, the washer uh, dryer combination, they have them in there. Uh, not in dryers, you don't generally see it in dryers. There are a few exceptions in dryers where you will see uh, Energy Star, but you really gotta look for them. I don't know if I sell any here in the store that I'm in, uh, but it's something that can be ordered for you. But really, if you're thinking about energy conservation in your dryer, focus on the washer. Buy a washer that actually spins really fast, and that'll help you save drying time on the dryer. So again, look for the symbol. You'll see it in the advertisement. You'll see it on the appliances. If you go into a new apartment or a new home, these tags will still be up, and you can tell that this is a place that actually helps conserve energy. So I hope that's understandable to you. And if you, uh, if you need any further help, come to Appliance Factory, Mattress Kingdom, and we'll give you some more help in this.